an engineer used Autodesk Simulation Mechanical's Dynamic Design Analysis Method, or DDAM, to determine whether this hydraulic power unit would survive naval shock loads encountered during battle. The unit began as a CAD surface model of the tank and the motor and pump base. The stainless steel tank has a baffle separating the clean, highly filtered fluid from the less clean return fluid. After importing the model into Simulation Mechanical and meshing it, the engineer defined the plate thickness on a per-surface basis and specified the materials. He then added offset beam elements to represent the wide flange beam substructure used to mount the unit to the ship deck. He also added remote nodal weights to represent the mass of the motor, the pump, and the sidearm filtration unit. In order to achieve the required 80% mass participation, the engineer calculated the natural frequencies of the structure for a total of 160 vibration modes. He then specified the DDAM parameters as follows. Surface type ship, submarines are also supported. Deck mounted apparatus, other options include hull or shell plating mounting. All three shock spectra applied. Fore aft, a thwart ship, that is side to side, and vertical. Here we see the response of the structure to the naval shock loads for several representative mode shapes. Translational and torsional vibration modes about all three global axes are present. The tank is transparent for visibility of the internal baffle plate and the pump base behind it. Displacements are exaggerated for better visibility. Lastly, the engineer verified that stresses in the beam support structure remained within safe limits.